It is budget day in this province. This one, of course, is under the shadow of the pandemic. Because of COVID-19, Ontario is now facing the biggest debt and deficit in its history. But this budget is not a blueprint on how it will dig itself out of that hole. This is a great, great news budget uh, News budget for the people of Ontario, the businesses of Ontario. That's high praise given the grim fiscal situation. The government is predicting a whopping $38.5 billion deficit. Compare that to last year when it promised to reduce it to just $11.7 billion. It's predicting the deficit will decrease to $33 billion next year and $28 billion the year after, but didn't give details how. We really just don't know how long this situation is going to last. We, of course, hope that COVID will be gone soon, but we don't know that. So we're planning quite prudently for the next several years. Good news. The government is not raising your taxes. It's also extending the monthly $200 for parents of children who need help in online school, plus introducing a seniors home safety tax credit worth 25% of renovations so they can stay at home longer. It's similar to a previous Liberal plan that expired. The budget also gives electricity relief for small businesses struggling in the pandemic. Taxpayers, though, will end up picking up the difference. Well, this, this cost on businesses costing us jobs. These are the legacies that are making our businesses uncompetitive. Much of the Ford government spending on the biggest budget items is largely flat, given the increased pressure on them. Half a billion more for hospitals, 800 million more for education. Long-term care is getting an additional $112 million with no money allocated for increasing direct care hours for vulnerable seniors. It's not nearly enough, according to the opposition. Compared to the March fiscal plan, he's spending about $100 million left. This budget won't keep hospitals from becoming overwhelmed. Some other points in the budget, it will allow restaurants to permanently sell alcohol with takeout while freezing tax increases on beer and wine. It's also predicting revenue from cannabis sales in stores will more than double next year to $170 million. And it's giving a 20% staycation credit to encourage people to spend money in Ontario. One last note, the government is spending $12 million to test sewage for COVID-19. Overall, it will spend $45 billion over the next three years on pandemic spending. As for the debt, well, sit down for this one. It is expected to grow by $30 billion to $413 billion. That costs $12.5 billion a year in interest.